So um, I'll try to follow the steps in um, and make a new video of it. So the first step was to um, download the data and unzip it. I've done that here uh, in my temp file and then um, exercise data, I believe it's called. Uh, this doesn't start so nicely. Oh, here it is, snow it's called. Um, so, uh, data snow, exercise data, what's in it? Okay. Okay. And the OSM. So, let's bring it in here. The buildings and the roads. Um, as we discussed in class, um, you might get different colors from me. It's a clip of the different buildings and roads. And I'm going to add also the um, waterways to make it look nice. Okay. Waterways is here. So let's make it a bit nicer also. Let's call it a canal. Apply. Yeah, this is fine for now. And the roads will also make them look like a road. I double click on the symbol of the roads. And I say what, what looks like a road here. This one is fine. Uh, okay. Um, and buildings. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, the buildings have this outline, it's fine. Now, the next step would be to, now we have a map with the coordinates. You can see in the bottom the coordinates system. Uh, so everywhere I have my mouse, I have coordinates on this map. But now we want to have um, our um, old map that was scanned in the library. So I go to a raster, georeferencer. This is our georeferencing tool. I load our old map. I believe it's this one. Oh no, it's a different one. Um, let's see. Trying this from scratch. Temp. And then it was called um, Snow, I believe. And then uh, data snow from the map open. Yeah, so this map does not have coordinates. Uh, actually, you can see it here. They are um, just image coordinates. Starts from here, like a zero, zero, let's say, um, all the way until uh, 3,000 pixels. So what we have to do now is to find uh, locations in this map that we can also see here. So we give the coordinates of this map to this map. So I'm lucky because I can already see that this square over here is actually this square. Yeah. And let me adjust this a little bit so I can see it better. So nice for you. You might want to... Now this looks nice. Um, where were we? Yeah. Oh, see, I think I have it. So this square is actually this square. And this roundabout is this roundabout. And this big street is actually this big street. So let's start. I can create a point here. So at the end of this street, I have a point here. What are the coordinates is asking me? Okay, I don't know by heart, so I'm going to say find it on the map. Moves to this one, and I click here. You notice that it moved away uh, to give me space for this one. Uh, and I say OK. And now a point appears on both our map image, but also on our canvas, map canvas. So then we continue. Now, it's important to have several, things like eight, nine, uh, points, but also distributed across this image map. I'm going to look for something up here now. 
I can see this point over here. The canvas. There's also this point over here. And I continue. It's okay. And, I, and it adds a new one down here. So now I already have two points. Now I'm going to go up here the roundabout. One, two. So it's this point over here. So this over here. Map goes into here. Don't want it to hide. Okay. Now something down here. If I go down the street, turn. So this crossroad here is the same as this one. So I'm gonna add here middle of the street more or less. The map canvas and over here middle of the street. Okay. Um, it's also a nice one here in the middle and here in the middle map canvas. Okay, so what are we missing? Something around here. This one, and you can hear in the background my daughter practicing piano. Something down here then. Goes up here, then this roundabout doesn't exist anymore. This one's a tough one. I think this this square here is here. And if you go down. And I think, th yes, this one is actually this one. Okay, so we're going to go here, this corner of these buildings. The map is also this corner here. Okay. And then I go up a little bit and I have this street comes down here. One, two, so this corner is actually this corner here. One, two, and this is also here. Okay, something in the middle now. Um, we have this one. So it became quite different London in the meantime. Um, so, this big street over here is also this big street over here. Oh yeah, definitely the square is the square. So let's go for this one. And this square over here. Okay. Um, da -da -da. I think this is more or less fine. There's one more. So this square is probably this square over here. So I'm going to mark this corner of this building and this corner of this building. Okay, this might be enough. I think I should choose the, how many do we have? Nine. Now I'm going to choose these uh, settings. Uh, I advise to do polynomial two. Uh, as you can see on the, on the web page I recommend. Uh, nearest neighbor won't change the, the colors of the pictures. Um, we keep the same SRS, uh, everything's the same. So now I say OK. Oh, load in QGIS when it's done. Oh, that's handy. Let's load it in. OK. And now I can just, oh, now because I defined the settings, it already gives me the errors. I get X errors on horizontal direction, but also Y errors on a vertical direction. And my errors and the residuals the root mean square the residuals. Hmm, they're quite okay. In pixels. So I'm off by six pixels, seven pixels here. This is the worst one. Let me see which one is this one. If I remove it. Hmm. Nah, seven pixels should be fine. Um and I'm gonna run. Oof. Okay. 
I can close this one, save this value. Sure, why not? Um, maximize this one. Ah, looks quite straight. It aligns well. I can even make it, um, if I double click on it, I can make it a little bit transparent, I hope. Um, transparency. Apply. Okay. Okay, this is fine. The streets align well. Great. Go back, remove my transparency. Okay. Can also turn it on and off. Okay, now we have my map is your reference. So I, I, I have real work coordinates, as you can see down here. I have real work coordinates on my map. Now I'm ready to digitize the pumps because I don't care about the map. I care where are the pump or where used to be the pumps. So what we'll do, we'll, we're going to create a new shapefile layer. That's this icon here. It might be in a different location. You can also move it around. This one here is not this one. It looks the same, but it's not this one. New shape layer. I give it a name. Water pumps. No spaces, please. It's going to be a point. I'm going to put it on the right location. Where do I want it? Close to the rest. So C. Um, Zemp. Uh, Dr. Snow. Exercise data. Water pump shape file is great. Save. Um, this SRS, hmm. well, it doesn't matter too much, but I think it's best to change it. Now, I think it's really important that you change this to the one or the rest of your map. So you can click on it. And um, I believe the map is, you see here, APGS, that's the same as your OpenStreetMap data. 3, 8, Five seven. Let's do it also here. Three eight five seven. Here it is. Show the Mercator. We'll learn about this better later on. Okay. Now we have the same. Uh, this is actually important to do because this is in meters, and the other one not. Um, okay. Uh, now we have a new layer here. Oh, let's put it in on top. Water pumps. Uh, now we're going to look for a water pump. Here's one. Um, like I said, you can right click on it and say toggle editing. Now it, a pencil shows up, so now it's in editing mode. And now this also is unblocked, not grayed out anymore. We can add a new point feature. And when I click on it, oh, look at that. I have a nice uh, target. So I'm going to look for my pump. Ah, here it is, pump. Boom. What's the ID? Uh, number one. Okay. Now I have my color. My picture becomes that one. Let's look for another one. Uh, ah, here's one. Bang. Number two. One more. There. Number three. And you go on until I have them all. Zoom out. Zoom in. Here's another one. Four. Here we go, number five. Um, I think for these demonstration purposes, this is enough, but you should go on and and I think they're around 11, but one time one student found 12. So I believe they are 12 now. I trust him. Um, what else? Uh, this is it. So now what I'm gonna do is to stop editing um so by i click on the toggle editing again it says do you want to save changes yes please save now if i turn on all other layers look at this i have my nice water pumps let's make them even more visible i can uh, double click on it and in symbology i can ch choose some kind of very predominant symbol um, now we'll continue um, the next step was to okay now I have the pumps but I need actually the desk also and the desk you see them here so each house has uh, the number of desks uh, from cholera but um, I don't have 
I don't want to digitize them all. Luckily, somebody has done that, a different researcher, and he created a text file. Let's go to our uh, data set. And I go here, temp, uh, Dr. Snow, I believe. Snow exercise, data. And this, this is a text file. If I open it, I can see, okay, there's an ID. Well, there isn't. It's all empty. Um, then there's number of deaths. And then the point X and point Y. So this is the coordinates. X and Y coordinates. Oh, these are the number of deaths. This is one, two, three, four, three. Yeah, this is great. Okay. Let's add this data set to our map. You can just go here and say, I want to add a delimited text layer. And then I look for it. Uh -huh. Data Snow, that's, and open it. OK. Just by, um, by default, it's already doing it well. The ID is all zeros. It's not so great, but it's fine. Number of deaths it finds, point X, point Y. And the coordinates, this is for the X, we want it to be exactly X. And the Y field, I want it to be the Y. And the geometry, it's also the same CRS, 3857. This is great. Okay, if it looks like this, yours, go ahead and do it. Add and close. Oh, nice. All the deaths are there. Oh, I can see that my the person that digitized this desk was a little bit off compared to my map. It doesn't matter too much. They're roughly in the same location. Let's have a look. We can even click here. I, I choose the desk. And if I click here, what do I get? Desk number two. It's two of them. So actually, this is really big. Let's try to make it smaller. So this was two, probably this one. The next one is three, definitely one, two, three. The next one is one, and finally four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. OK, now we have um, all our data prepared. The pumps, the desk, and we don't need the background map anymore. That's it. I'll prepare a video for part two later on.